this is Chris Collins with Acoustica, and I'm going to show you some of the new plugins included with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. These plugins are not included with the standard version of Mixcraft, only with Pro Studio. One of the effects that I am most excited about is the Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb. Listen to the difference between the classic reverb and the Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb. I'll play a drum lick using the classic reverb first. Now let's hear that same lick using the Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb instead. The acoustic space that is represented by the Pro Studio Reverb just sounds much more authentic. I might as well take this opportunity to also show you Pianissimo. This is a grand piano virtual instrument that is bundled with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 and is based on the sounds of a Steinway Model D grand piano. I will now play a selection of the Turkish March using the classic reverb. Now let's hear that with the Acoustica Pro Studio reverb instead. While we're looking at virtual instruments, I have to show you the ME80. This synth recreates the Yamaha CS80, and it even emulates the polyphonic aftertouch and the um, pitch ribbon and a bunch of other things. You have to hear this thing. Oh, this synth sounds so sweet. That's just one, one of the patches, but you have to check out all the others in there and play around with it. Pro Studio 6 also comes with Memory Moon, which is uh, basically a memory Moog emulator. Um, and one of the coolest features of the Memory Moon is the arpeggiator, which is super flexible and can do some really neat stuff. Here I'm just holding down these chords and letting the arpeggiator do its thing. Now I want to show you some of the effects. Oh, where to start? There are so many new plugins here. The Acoustica 31 Band EQ. This is great. It offers you such fine control over the sound. Um, here in this little uh, loop that I've got going, um, I can boost this bass drum, the bass drum frequencies here, without really grabbing the bass instrument so much along with it. It's, it's nice. I feel like I'm a surgeon. Let's boost these highs a little bit. Yeah. You can find just that right frequency in there. Get those hi-hats nice and crisp. Next we have the Isotope Mastering Essentials. Now there are three parts to this plugin. A valve equalizer, room simulation, and a tube amplifier. Each can be enabled or disabled independently of the other. control of the parametric equalizer is pretty common to most parametric equalizers. You drag the points with your left mouse button, you use the scroll wheel to change the width. The room simulation is very interesting. It does a very good job of simulating that particular type of room environment that most reverbs don't do well. And the tube amplifier gives you that analog color for your final mixes. Now the mid-side plugins are quite interesting. They work with the stereo separation to achieve some very unique effects. Some of them are quite helpful, some of them are just fun or wacky. 
The envelope follower manipulates a filter based on the dynamics of the sound that is playing. And you get some just crazy effects with this thing. This would be great for electronic music, but it actually sounds pretty funky with this mix as well. g Sonique's Mid-Side Harmonic Vitalizer Plus allows you to expand an instrument's stereo footprint in different ways, or even to reduce it. I'm going to solo out the rhythm guitar in the mix and let you hear the difference in the stereo space between the original recording and the use of the Mid-Side plug-in. Takes a little more stereo space in the ears. Let's do a little bit more stereo separation. really fills out the full stereo spectrum there. We can go even further. This is so useful in mixes. Looking for that lo-fi chip sound? Well, Time Machine is the plugin you're looking for. Send me back to 1984. I still remember the days when we all longed for better bit depths, better sound quality from our PCs. And now we have plugins to go all the way back to those days. It's nostalgia now. Ah, uh, there we go. That's really lo fi. Alright, let's trash this. <laughs> yeah. Now, one of my favorite plugins. The Dubmaster Liquid Delay. This delay does all kinds of cool things with filters, and you just have to play with it to see all that it can do. But just going through some of the presets, you'll hear some pretty cool effects. I'm just going to solo this out with this keyboard here so you can hear, you can really hear what this does. I love that plugin. Here we go, Fat Plus. It does what it says. It makes everything fat. Gives it that old vacuum tube slash tape sound. Ferox Tape Emulator. Is it Ferox? Ferox? Fer? I don't know how to say that. But it uh, simulates some of the cool and not so cool qualities of old analog tape. Hey, we're on tape now. Let's try uh, add warmth. Ooh, I'm getting a little overdrive there. It's kind of a cool effect. I bet I could add more. <laughs> this is a pretty simple idea here. It is a tube transient vitalizer. Makes those highs stand out a bit more. Makes them crisper. There's a few more plugins that I haven't covered that are included as well. We have the mid side stereo phase filter, a TB parametric equalizer, five bands, no, six bands. We have the X-Base 4000L Bass Enhancer. Does what it says, it enhances your bass. And then we have another parametric equalizer as well. This one uh, has knobs. If you like to do with a knob way, I guess. So there you have it. There is a lot, a lot in Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. So please check it out, and I hope you'll have as much fun with these plugins as I do.